Hi guys, this is going to be a bit of a short vlog, basically just um, just talking about, well I'm just going to have a little chat about cameras to be honest, um, what the best type of cameras to get are really, um, if you want to sort of like start off having a dash cam, um, and sort of like a basic basic one and then moving up to uh, sort of like full HD cameras front and back and things like that. Um, all I would say is that my dash cam is my helmet cam. Um, uh, the only reason I did that was because, well it was, it's cheap to be honest. I mean it was cheaper using a camera that I already had instead of buying a whole brand new one um, for the same quality because that would have that would have been quite quite a lot of money. So yeah this is my helmet cam. Um, it's got 1080p full HD. Um, the battery lasts for about three and a half hours. Um, I've got a 16 gig card in it. Um, a 16 gig SD, um, I think it's a class 4, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the actual card allows for about four and a half, five hours worth of footage. Um, depending whether or not it's in daylight and night time, because I've found that night time uh, videos actually take a lot less a lot less gigs than um, daytime videos. So these are all things you've got to bear in mind really. The quality of the video oh sorry I'm a bit tired. Oh. Yeah. The quality of the video um, how long the battery lasts how much memory you've actually got um, and how much um, video um, uh, sorry how many gigs a minute of video will actually take um, they normally quote something like just over one gig for 15 minutes of video um, which I suppose is alright for most people but I mean, it's it's just enough for me because my my uh, journey to college is um, it's about three quarters of an hour. So so when I sort of like by the time I get home, I've used about well two hours worth really. Um, and then if I've like driven places in between, it ends up going up to three hours. Um, it's kind of the same when I'm cycling. Um, when I, if I, if I am going, if I'm cycling to college, to be honest, um, it takes me about half an hour to get from where I normally turn the camera on when I come off the coastal path. Um, and it's it works out as well that really. Um, right, it's right now. It's quarter past seven in the morning. We've we'll just had to take my dad to the train station. That's why I'm up so early. Um, Yeah, in terms of price, my camera, um, I got it off Amazon online um, for £140. Um, I'll put that link in the description of this video. Um, I used to have a um, little, what it, I think it was called an Oregon, uh, an Oregon or something like that. 
um, an ATC 3K I think it was or something, something along those lines. It looks like a bit of a bullet. Um, the video quality on that was okay. I had it mounted on my handlebars of my bike. Um, I would say it'd be a bit better for for car for car use really. Um, I'm actually thinking of getting one now actually. That's reminded me. The reason I'm talking about cycling cameras and helmet cameras is because they are so easy to turn on and turn off and use. Um, most of them have got like quick release brackets to to get your camera off um, uh, when you when you finish to ride and things. Um, so. I mean, I just think they're, they're really, really useful. And they've got one little slider which you just slide forward or one button that you press which turns them on. Um, easy peasy. Because the re reason I say that they're good is because I bought two, um, well, what claimed to be dash cams, um, and they claimed to be 1080p. However, there was no real way of getting them on and off their um, their mounts. They just, they weren't 1080p quality, so that's, I mean, I got the two off eBay, so you've got to be careful, really, of where you're getting them from. I mean, I don't know if the ones that I got were duds, um, and the, the camera should, actually is 1080p, but but I know mine were working anyway, probably. Um, I also felt that... They were they were really flimsy. And they they just weren't they weren't sturdy enough really to to support sort of in case any little accidents happened or anything. They ju they just felt too delicate really. So yeah, I think as a rule, if you want a dash cam for your car get sort of like a cycling or motorcycling helmet camera because they're going to be built much much more strongly um, they're, they're designed really for, for being battered and things um, and I just think that the quality of what they're made out of is a lot is a lot better and to be honest they're not that expensive um, Just they they are good quality. Um, the footage is really good. It's crystal clear because it's built for um, uh, well shock absorbing shocks and things like that. Um, they're just really good. Um, yeah, the quality is it's much, much better than, than what you expect it to be, really, for, for a cheap little thing. Um, so, like I say, mine cost 140 Um You can probably get them off eBay for about $100. Um, it just depends on where you look, to be honest. Probably, uh, all I, all I would say is don't go for the really cheap, nasty ones. Ones which are basically under hundred pound because you're not, you're not paying for your quality there. 
um, that's a mistake I made because the two dash cams that I got they were £30 each um, so ju just try and be a bit careful really do your research what I like to do is go on um, YouTube and sort of like type in the product information um, and actually find out if there's any videos of the of the quality of the actual um, the Snowdonia cheese called me but what's actually in here just like big rolls of cheese the mini roundabout anyway the mini roundabout for no reason at all and the actual site closed Yeah, um, I'll put a link in the description to where, well, I'll put a link in the description to the uh, video with these two, well, supposed dash cam cameras that I actually bought. Um, they were meant to have 140 degrees of view, which is the same as this one. Um, well, they were meant to have 135, but it, it's actually the same. Um, they didn't have that field of view, even though they appeared to have what what I think was a fish lane, a fish eye lens on it. Um, they just didn't have that. They they just were not up to what they actually said said they were. Um, I would also suggest going with a good make. Um, the three top ones being GoPro, obviously. Um, Contour, which are kind of in and out of liquidation at the moment. Um, don't really know what's happening with them because they did go bankrupt. Then a company bought them, and I think they're in bankrupt again now. Um, or Drift. Drift cameras are very, very similar to Contour cameras. But Drift cameras have a little screen on them, and they're, they're built for... Um, uh, motorcyclists really for, for doing video logs and things basically like this but, but just a bit better um, I quite like the look of drifts so if I was to buy another full priced camera it probably would be a drift um, drifts also come with a little remote which which is handy really because if I mean if I bought one I'd probably put it in the back um, in the back back window um, and then I could just turn it on and off with this little remote um, you'll notice that I am kind of going around the same streets I did in my last vlog which was last night um, I don't know why to be honest no particular reason it's just I'm not going to be going far from home at any time soon, so... I mean, I've got a busy day today, so that's why I'm doing this, this video nice and early. Um, so, yeah, if you're wanting a bit of information on buying your first helmet camera or your first dash cam, I would say is go for something around the 150 mark um, both Contour and Drift have cameras that price um, all I would say is that nowadays with um, with Contour being liquidation or in and out of bankruptcy I would just say Go, go with the drift to be honest it's the same quality it has a bit of a I think it's got a bit of a better field of view um, it's just it's a safe bet to go with really I think the company is the company is very good when if you say you, you get a dodgy machine they are very good with um, replacing it and things 
Um, yeah, if you've got the money, you can have a GoPro. All I would say with GoPros is that I've never really sort of liked them, to be honest. I've never liked the, the bulkiness of them or, or the fact that you can't... They're not very big and... They haven't got... They've got like a mini camera type of shape. Um, they've got really good video quality, but... But that can be said for any camera to really, you just need to have it on the right setting. Um, I think the battery power is quite poor on GoPros as well. Um, I'm not actually sure why GoPro has made so much money to be honest. And why, why they've sold so many. Um, I mean, if there's anyone out there who sort of... Who knows, sort of... Well, I'm, I know, um... There's quite a few people on YouTube with GoPros, but... I mean, if there's anyone out there who actually knows what the ups and downs of the camera is, and if... What, um... What advantages it has in the comments because it's just interesting really so yeah if there's anyone if there's anyone who knows what the advantages are of, of, of having a GoPro are just come up comment in the section just basically explain why why people actually go for the GoPro I mean does it is it easy to use is it um, is it efficient, or do you just go with it because the company is well known? Personally, I don't think I would buy a uh, GoPro anytime soon. Um, I've never seen the advantage of having one, I've never really liked it. I just don't think it's... It's worth forking out the 200, 300 pounds it actually costs. Um, I have heard that it comes with some good mounts, but do you really want to pay that much just for some some mounts which will sort of like secure it and support it? I mean, I wouldn't. So, so yeah, you can get cheap cameras and you can get relatively high quality cameras for not not really a lot lot more. I um, understand that some people won't have 150, 200 quid lying around. But if you do have that money and you do want a camera, I would suggest getting a, a well-known, decent, quality one um, and look at videos of the actual of actual video footage online and uh, on, on uh, YouTube so you can actually and, and quite a lot of people um, out there they do comparisons so I think they've done a contour drift and GoPro comparison I'll try and find it and put the link in the comments um, in the link in the description These these uh, comparison comparisons they're really really good. I mean, you can they show you really clearly what all the differences are. What uh, what camera's got what camera is better at night time? What camera's better in uh, bright daylight? Which camera is better color correction? Um, and it really I mean uh, it helped me when I was buying a contour anyway because I saw them. Compared them to, I think GoPros were the main ones at that time, um, and I, I just chose chose the contour really. Um, starting to ramble on now, so I mean, I only wanted to talk about cameras, and I'm starting to talk about nothing really, just going on and on. 
Oh, I, uh, another thing that I want to just mention is that I think I'm getting better at these vlogs. Um, I don't seem to be saying um as many times as as I used to. I uh, I'm getting a bit more confident in what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. Um, I'm planning them a little bit better, to be honest. So I know when I'm going to be saying things and uh, just things like that, really. Um, if anyone's got any sort of like tips or anything for these vlogs, please put them in the comments and then I'll try and pick up on them. Well, that's pretty much it, really. Not really much else to say. Oh, uh, just to say, just to sort of like let everyone know where I've been. Um, I started off in Bill. Um, oh, excuse me. I then headed up to Kimnal Bay. Um, and now I'm in Rutherland. Um, this morning I was aiming to go out on my bike when I get home. But well, it's a bit rainy and the roads look very slick. So I think I'll, I'll save it till later on. So, well, that's, that's pretty much it for this vlog. Um, this has been monkeys.com and I'll catch you guys later.